So basic shape measurement, so you have your fractions, you have your percent, you have your ratio and proportions, and now we're going to talk about basic shape measurement. I've listed some formulas here. Now, are these all the formulas that there are? No, there, there's more, right? But these are the most common ones that we're going to see on the GED test, okay? We're going to see the area of a rectangle is what? Length times width. The area of a triangle is one half base times height. We'll do some of those. The area of a circle, pi r squared. The volume of a rectangle, length times width times height. The volume of a cube or a square, uh, psi uh, cubed or psi times a psi times a psi. <coughs> the volume of a cylinder, right? Pi times r squared times height. The Pythagorean relationship, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And then the circumference, or the area around the circle, <coughs> pi times diameter. Okay, so we're going to cover some of these tonight. So let's get started with number one. Now I want you to tell me both the area and the perimeter of this shape. Now I didn't write down any of the formulas for perimeter because it's so easy. When you're looking for the perimeter of something, what are you looking for? It's just all the numbers added together. Right, you're looking for the edge of something. So if I wanted to know the perimeter of this, <coughs> of this whiteboard here, and let's say the length of this whiteboard is, let's say, five feet, and let's say the width of it or depth of it is four feet, what will be the perimeter of this whiteboard here? The length is 5, 18. the width is 4, 18, right? Because if this length is 5, then this length is 5, so 5 plus 5 is? Then if this is 4, it's 14, and if this is 4, it's 18. So I didn't really put the perimeter formulas down because all you're doing is adding up the edges, okay? You're going around. And so later on when we get to word problems, what we're going to see is that if they say, for example, you know, Damon wanted to put crown molding in his room, right? That's an edge. That's a perimeter question. If they said Damon wanted to lay carpet, what's the surface area? Then that's an area question. So as we get into that, we'll, 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 we'll see how those play out in actual GED questions, okay? So again, the formulas are here. Um, I think many of you have them. If you don't, see me after, the, after this, and I'll make sure you get a copy of all the formulas. Uh, the great thing is they give you all these on the test, so nothing to memorize here, but we need to learn how to use them. So this rectangle here, Alicia, what is the perimeter of it? Right? Because if this side is 12, then this side is 12, that's 24. And if this side is 7, then that side is 7, that's uh, 14. So 24 plus 14 is 38. Good job. What is the, oh, that's pretty good. What is the area, uh, Rosie, of this rectangle? 3 times 7 times 12. Mm -hmm. 84. 84, right? So the area, length times width, the length being 12, the width being 7, 12 times 7 is 84. Simple so far? Pretty easy stuff.